Hi, my name is AJ Joveri. I'm the owner of um, our Genome Photo Lab. Started the lab as a small little 700 square foot lab in 1988. 21 years later, we're still doing headshots, specializing in just headshots. A, a good headshot or a great headshot has to represent the actor. When an actor walks into an audition, they gotta look like the headshot. You cannot have a picture that's a snapshot taken by somebody. It's gotta look like you, but it's gotta look professional. It's gotta have some hair, some makeup, minor retouching to get some blemishes and flaws off. But most importantly, a casting director at the audition looks at that headshot, looks at you in the waiting room. They gotta know that's you. Especially with the digital world now, there's a vast range of photographers. Uh, there's a huge price range. You can find a photographer, a headshot photographer for anywhere from you know, a couple hundred dollars to a thousand dollars a session. Uh, each one has their place. But with the internet, everyone's got a website. All the photographers have websites. Uh, look at their work, see if it resonates with you, if you like what you see, and then the budget, whatever your budget is. And then go meet with them. And you gotta have some kind of rapport with them. You gotta feel comfortable. You're gonna spend a good two or three hours with this person, and this person has got to capture the, your essence. When we started in this business, it was all black and white, and it was mainly a cost issue. I mean, color was there, but mass producing color pictures was expensive. So the trend really is color. That's mainly come about with the digital revolution. There's no cost of film. That you can shoot as many frames as you want. Um, and a lot of the photographers are selling themselves by saying we'll give you six different looks for your one photo session. And the biggest pitfall is overshooting. Uh, there's a lot of photographers who will give you a thousand images on a, on a session. And that bogs down the process of selecting the picture, of going through them. Uh, agents and managers don't want to go, don't have the time or desire to go through 600 of pictures of one client and then try and narrow it down from there. That's the biggest pitfall. The selling point on a headshot is your eyes. Uh, you're talking to the casting director with your eyes. Traditionally, headshots have been 8 by 10s and they still are. You've got 80 square inches of real estate to sell yourself with. Let's maximize that 80 square inches of real estate with your face, your eyes. If it's a three-quarter shot, you can't get an idea of what color the eyes are, the expression. Uh, it's more in your face when it's smaller, when it's a thumbnail, if it's a tighter up picture. Uh, the biggest way they can save money is take care of it during the photo shoot. Don't get lazy, have somebody there with you paying attention to your photo shoot and don't say we can fix it later in retouching. You're paying a lot of money to fix something simple in retouching later that could have been taken care of during the photo shoot. You know, if you got a logo on your shirt or you got jewelry that, that now you don't want in the picture, if your hair is not the way you want it, fix it at that point during the photo shoot, it's a lot cheaper than doing it later.